Good morning, y'all. Welcome to another vlog. It is Sunday, December 10th, I believe, and we are on day, I, I don't even fucking know, 11? And we are on day 11 of Vlogmas. Yes, I believe that's right. It's a cold winter morning here in Arkansas, and I've already been up for a little while. It's about 10 a.m. I'm about to go check out the Door County Advent Calendar and see what flavor we get today. At least the worst is over, and I don't have to dread getting candy cane anymore. Okay, here we are on day number 10, which is open. I did not open it. I don't know why it's open. We have a non-holiday blend today but still a good one, Heavenly Caramel. Notes of caramel flavor so decadent, it's heavenly. I think I remember that the, I didn't think the caramel flavor came through very much in this, but I could be mixing it up with a Starbucks caramel, so I don't know. We're gonna go try it. I'm sure it'll be good regardless. Mm, it smells really good, like caramel. Caramel, I say caramel. Sometimes I'll say caramel, but not really often. Most of the time I say caramel. How do you say it? Tell me in the comments. I feel like we've had this conversation before. Pouring in the water. Brew now! And while we wait for the coffee to brew, of course, we're gonna consult the Magical Almanac, which I will link to down in the description box below, <laughs> along with all of the Door County holiday coffees if you wanna check those out. And their regular flavors too are really good. So today is Sunday the 10th. The color of the day is orange. The incense is marigold, which I think think I have. I'm gonna have to check my incense stash. And the moon is waning Scorpio today. I'm gonna go check my incense now. I do believe I have marigold, but I haven't burned it in a really long time, so it's probably at the very bottom of the box. I've been rummaging through my incense stash for the past 10 minutes and still cannot find marigold incense, so I guess I don't have any. I thought I did, but I had magnolia, and I think maybe that's what I was confusing it with. So instead, today, uh, since I still don't have my Yule incense, it'll be here tomorrow, um, I am gonna burn some of this Folk Essence uh, Crescent incense, and this is lavender and chamomile. Since it's a floral scent, I thought it would be a nice substitution. And I really like these Folk Essence incenses. I will link to them down in the description box. You can get like this whole set that I have that a subscriber sent to me for like under $15. And they're, they're really nice, very uh, nicely scented. The sticks are a little small compared to the ones I buy on Etsy, but still the fragrance is really nice. So let's light it up. I love the scents of lavender and cam chamomile. Also two more of my favorite floral scents. And as I am working this morning, uh, Limbs is cooking me steak and eggs for breakfast. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> He's making me a T-bone steak and scrambled eggs while I film my intro this morning and also then I have to go edit for a couple hours to get the vlog out for you guys today. I have a lot of fun holiday stuff planned for today. And it sounds like the coffee's done brewing, so let's go get a cup. Coffee's done and I'm using my lovely uh, mushroom cup today. I've already had a cup of the Starbucks holiday blend this morning. So I'm not going to be putting my collagen in this one. I've already had it. I am really enjoying this Starbucks holiday blend. It's not flavored, but it still has a nice strong coffee flavor that I like. Okay, giving it a little stir. And now Door County Heavenly Caramel, I think is what it was called, going in. Oh no, that's really good. The caramel flavor really does come through in that one. I guess it was the Starbucks one that I couldn't taste the caramel in very well, but uh, this is really good. If you like caramel flavor, ooh, the aftertaste, really good. Yes, I like that one. That's probably gonna be in my top pick so far. And we started dehydrating oranges last night and they are done. So here's how they look. They turned out so pretty. Um, I'm gonna buy some twine today and we are gonna be decorating the tree with these. There's another tray underneath. Here we go and even another tray underneath that. And then we have some that we dehydrated last week as well. So we have plenty of orange slices to put on the tree. Not very tasty. Lim's tried to eat one. He said they're not very tasty. <laughs> There's a reason why nobody eats dehydrated orange, but they do make pretty homemade uh, ornaments for your tree. And they're very easy. You just dry them. You can do it in the oven too. And then I just uh, used twine to attach them to the tree, which I'll show you later. My poinsettia is doing really well, but I am concerned that it's not getting enough light since I put the Christmas tree in front of the window. So I am going to bring it over and put it under the plant light today, just so it can get a little bit of extra light. I'm going to have to move my cute little succulent that Lem's got me. I'm going to move it down here with my small plants. And we'll put the poinsettia on the top shelf. Oh, I'm going to have to move the light. <laughs> 
I love these plant lights because they have these adjustable wand, like wand lights so you can move them around where you need them. And I also love that it has a programmable timer um, and it wasn't very expensive at all. I got it on Amazon. I'll link to it down below if you want to check it out. And I just set it up behind this plant shelf that I also got on Amazon and built myself. I got to rearrange this a little bit. It's getting poked by the aloe. Let me turn the aloe this way. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I am definitely going to be doing a plant care vlog soon, probably next week sometime, because I am determined to get these plants repotted that need to be repotted. And also I want to get a new plant. I really want to get a new Chinese evergreen because that's my favorite plant and I no longer have one. My breakfast is ready. Y'all, this is the T-bone and eggs that Lim's made me. It looks so good and it smells so good. And by the way, he marinated those steaks all night and they smell fantastic. So that was so sweet of you to make me breakfast, thank you. It's actually brunch though, cause it's like 11 o'clock now, but I'm gonna eat and then go edit. My makeup today, I was trying to do kind of like a rose purple kind of eyeshadow look and I feel like I just ended up looking like somebody punched me in the eyes. So I don't know, but I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it cause I'm tired of fucking with it. I'm experimenting some days, my eyes are gonna look like shit. Other days are gonna look good. It's hit or miss. It's hit or miss until I learn what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, but let me show you outfit of the day today. So I haven't worn this dress in a long time. This is my uh, skull and pentagram dress. I'll show you the pattern in a minute. And the reason why I don't wear this one a lot is because it doesn't fit me very well in the shoulders. The shoulders are like too wide. So I don't wear it a lot, but now that it's um, kind of cool outside, I can wear a sweater over it. So it doesn't really matter if, this, if the shoulders uh, slip down. So I thought I would wear that today with some fishnets and docks because it's not very cold outside. It's like cool, but not cold. So I'm wearing my Onyx uh, crystal necklace and then here's the pattern of the dress. This is obviously a Disturbia dress. That's where I get all my dresses from and I love them. So right now, uh, Limbs and I, we have to uh, drive out to his house in the country and drop some stuff off. And then uh, we're also gonna go shopping for the supplies to make keto eggnog and the last few things that we need to decorate the Yule tree. So I'll see you guys a little bit when we get to the shops. So before we go to Walmart, we've already gone to Limbs' house to drop off the stuff we had to drop off. And now I need to stop at the Springs and fill up my water jug. So that's what we're doing now. So we're go into the uh, Whittington Spring where we usually go right here to fill up our jug. I've showed you guys this before. Last time we got water here it had like a funny taste so I don't know what that was about. I cleaned out my jug really good with, with soap and water but it's never tasted like that before so I don't know. They do filter the cold springs. That's done. We'll put that in the car and then head out. All right, y'all, we're in Walmart and we're about to get a few things that we need to make keto eggnog. Although we did realize that today's Sunday and we can't buy rum. So we're gonna have to use like some whiskey that I have left over at the house, I guess. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. And then we have to pick up a couple more things too. So the first thing we have to get in the hardware section is a door latch because my door latch is messing up and sometimes I can't even like open the door from the inside. I'm gonna be locked in my apartment forever and my dogs are gonna have to eat me for sustenance. So we have to get a door latch and Limbs is gonna fix it for me. And I found some twine here as well that I'm gonna get to uh, for the Christmas ornaments. Um, I bought some of this not too long ago to make the herb hanger and I don't know what I did with it. I can't find it anywhere. So I'm just going to buy another roll. It does not appear that they have the door latch. Like we don't need the whole doorknob. We just need the little latch part and it doesn't look like they sell those separately. So I think I'm going to have to order one of those because I can't really change the whole door knob in my apartment. I gotta get some more Coke Zero minis, but I think they're out. I'm not seeing any on the shelves and last time I tried to order some, they also didn't have any. Damn it. They love the full size, but I don't like the big cans because it's too much for me to drink before it gets all gross. So yeah, their shelves of minis are bare. They have root beer, Sprite, and some kind of cherry Coke or something. Oh my God, and regular Coke, but no Coke Zero or even Diet. I would even take Diet. Oh, there is Diet Coke minis. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I just found a box of Coke Zero minis. I mean, duh, Diet Coke minis, so I'm gonna take that. Thank you. I think that was just hidden there on top of the regular size Cokes. So we got lucky, but no mini, no Coke Zero minis. Also had to grab some paper towels because we were almost out of paper towels. So I buy the four rolls of Bounty at a time. And we need some heavy whipping cream for the eggnog. And I don't know how much, let's just get the big container. Cause I can use it as coffee cream too. 
So they have this whole display of like pie crust and cream and whipped cream um, for holiday pie making and dessert making, I'm sure. And then we need eggs for the eggnog and it looks like they have My Vital Farms eggs, yay. They're super cheap here at Walmart and only $4.82. It's insane how cheap that is for these pasture-raised organic eggs. They're like $8 at a regular store. Okay, those look good. We will take them. I also need some half and half, from, which is what I use for my coffee creamer. Um, so I'm gonna get this Horizon Organic half and half. I was gonna get Land of Lakes, but it looks like they're out, so I'll get the Horizon Organic. Oh, they have cartons of eggnog right here, already made, but uh, they're full of sugar, so that's why we're gonna make our own keto eggnog instead. So now I have to get some low carb nut milk instead of regular milk, because regular milk has a lot of carbs. So we wanna get like an almond or a hemp milk. I'm not sure what uh, options Walmart's gonna have, but we're gonna find out. We just hit up the discount bakery rack and Lim's got some apple pie bites on sale for $3.90. They actually look really good. So it looks like our only option is pretty much gonna be almond milk. And I just want regular, not vanilla. Okay, this is original almond milk. Let's look at the carbs on this. Eight grams of carbs per one cup. That seems like a lot. Oh, it's sweetened. Oh, that's why, okay. Where's, where's unsweetened? Oh, see, this is two grams of carbs. That's what we want, okay. Almond breeze here. Like one gram of carbs. One gram of carbs for the almond breeze. Okay, let's get the almond breeze. Okay, we're going with the almond breeze unsweetened almond milk coconut milk blend. Ooh, good. Awesome. It only has one gram of carbs, so. All right, y'all. So we were like completely out of cheese at the house. So I got to get my craft Deli Deluxe. I need this stuff, okay? I know it's not healthy. Don't judge me. It's my one vice. Actually, I have two vices. I have three vices, okay? I have a lot of vices. I have a lot of vices, but Deli Deluxe American is one of them. And then I like, do they have any smoked Gouda? Sliced smoked Gouda? That's what I fucking want. But not for eggs. I'll, let's get pepper jack. Yeah, we can go to the deli. Let's get some pepper jack. Okay, that's a giant container of it. Oh, let's get some pepper jack. I don't know if that's smoked or not. It's, Deli style Gouda cheese? Eh, it's gotta be smoked. I don't even know if they make sliced smoked Gouda. Okay y'all, we are looking for sweeteners. So we need to get granular swerve is what we need right here um, to sweeten the eggnog. And then we also need allulose, which I'm hoping they have. Okay, so actually the swerve bag has a hole in it and it was spilling out and that's the only one they have. So I don't know what I'm gonna get. They do have this allulose. Four what is this? Granular Four sweetener stevia? I guess we could do that. I mean, what's it has less carbs than it's granular sweetener, so. Okay, we decided after much deliberation to get the organic granular sweetener stevia blend, which is uh, erythritol, stevia leaf extract, and organic natural flavor, and it only has four grams of carbs per teaspoon. Okay, that's what we're gonna get. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll use that, it'll sweeten the shit. I was just walking by and I am going to get this Starbucks gingerbread. I hope it's better. Well, the holiday blend is really good, but it's not flavored. So I hope the gingerbread one is. It says flavored ground coffee with other natural flavors. Sweet and delicately spiced notes. So yeah, I want to try this one. I'm going to grab it. And that's everything we need. So now we're going to go check out and uh, I'll see you guys when we get back home. Oh, there goes an ambulance. Um, so we are starving, so we decided to stop by McDonald's and get um, some food on the way home. I'm getting a bacon double quarter pounder with cheese with no bun and a Diet Coke. That's what I'm, that's how I roll. And then we, at home, we have some of those cheese stuffed uh, jalapeno pepper, like cream cheese stuffed bacon wrapped jalapeno peppers that Lim's bought at Harp's yesterday, so we're probably going to have those later. Um, but I was just like super hungry and needed something now. We didn't have, we don't have much else at home. Could have bought something at Walmart, but I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait to cook. I just want food now. Sometimes you just want fast food right now. We're here picking up our food at McDonald's. This is how my uh, double quarter pounder came to me. It looks terrible. I'm going to have to reassemble it <laughs> before I can eat it. So we're back home. I got the groceries put away and we're going to eat and then get started on the eggnog. All right, y'all, we are getting jolly as hell in here. We're listening to Christmas music and we're about to make keto eggnog. 
So here are all the ingredients, uh, whipped cream, um, unsweetened almond milk, the, we didn't have, we couldn't find the Swerve sweetener, so we got this uh, stevia sweetener, the allulose, the whiskey we're going to use because we don't have any rum and it's Sunday and we can't buy any, vanilla, salt, nutmeg, and of course, eggs. So that's everything you need to make keto eggnog, at least the recipe that I'm going to follow, which I will link to down below in the description box. And also the recipe um, calls for an instant read thermometer. And I think I'm going to kind of like slightly alter this recipe and put it on my website so I can tell you guys exactly how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to use this instant read thermometer that I got for soap making. So it's also going to come in handy for eggnog making. So we're going to start with the eggs, putting the eggs into a saucepan. I'm just going to use this stainless steel saucepan that I have. And we're gonna do four large eggs and two egg yolks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is separate the yolks. So I hope I can do this all right. Um, oh, I'm trying to separate. Why did I do it this way? I should have done this in a bowl and then put the yolks into the measuring cup. All right, mistake, mistake. But I've got the yolks separated. <laughs> Can you give me a bowl? Okay, so Limbs was kind enough to give me a bowl, which I put the yolk in, so I guess that's what we're doing now. I don't know. I didn't I didn't think that through. So now I'm gonna get the second yolk that we need and separate the white into this measuring cup. Oh, oh, oh! This is the way my grandma taught me to do it, so it's the only way I know how to do it. I'm pretty sure they have like some kind of device you can use to separate egg yolks. I don't know. Oh, that's like a fucking big log of snot. All right, there we go. Two egg yolks, done. I gotta wash my hands. I got, egg, I got egg white all over my hands. Okay, next step, I'm gonna crack four large eggs. And I guess I just can go ahead and put this all into the saucepan. Why didn't, why did I get a bowl? <laughs> okay, y'all, obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. I should have just put the egg yolks directly into the pan. So I'm gonna use this thing to scrape this out and now I just dirtied up a bowl for no reason whatsoever. And now I'm gonna crack four eggs directly into the pan. Egg number one, number two, number three, and number four. So now we are gonna add the sweetener. So I'm trying to find a third cup. Okay, we need a third cup of this granular stevia sweetener. I think you could pretty much use any granular sweetener like this. It looks just like sugar, look. It looks just like sugar. So we're gonna add a third cup to the eggs. I'm just gonna scoop it out like that. Put it in there with the eggs. And then I'm gonna do a third cup of this allulose, which is also a keto-friendly sweetener. It supposedly does not impact your blood sugar very much. I don't know. I don't always trust that. I get a little nervous with these artificial sweeteners, but I'm not gonna drink very much eggnog. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm gonna add a third cup of this. I feel like this is gonna be super sweet. And this is kind of clumpy too. Look how it looks. It's very clumpy. I'm gonna pour that in with the eggs and the other sweetener. And now I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of salt in with the eggs and sweetener. So now we have our salt, sweetener, egg yolks, and whole eggs, and we're just gonna whisk all this together in the saucepan. I gotta break up that allulose because it was like super clumpy. And now I am gonna slowly whisk in the almond milk. So I got this almond breeze um, with only one gram of carb per one cup serving, so that's great. And I'm just gonna fill up my one cup measuring cup four times with almond milk and add it in. Oh my God, I still have the little thing on. <laughs> I was trying to pour it like that. All right, now we're gonna pour it. So one cup. We're gonna slowly whisk this into the egg mixture so everything uh, stays nice and mixed gonna pour it in slowly while constantly whisking and I'm gonna do this until I get all four cups mixed in here. I am whisking in right now the fourth cup and I'm just realizing this is gonna make a shitload of eggnog for two people. We are probably not even gonna be able to drink all this. <laughs> we're gonna be hammered. So this is what the mixture looks like now. Now we're gonna put the heat over low 
and we are going to cook this while whisking constantly until it reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit and it coats the back of a spoon. So this can take about 15 minutes, up to 15 minutes. I'm just going to be standing here whisking, listening to Christmas music, y'all. So here's what it looks like after about six or seven minutes of heating up and whisking. It's starting to get frothy, starting to change color a little bit. And we're getting there, but not quite there. Okay, y'all, we've been stirring this shit for like 10 minutes straight. So I'm about to use the instant read thermometer to see uh, what the temperature is. And we're only at 112.8 and we got to get up to 165. So still a little bit longer. If you plan on making eggnog or candy or anything like that over the holidays, an instant read thermometer is a really handy thing to have and they're not very expensive at all. Um, I'll link to the one that I have here down in the description box if you want to check it out. But you will need it if you want to make eggnog. So here we are at 150 degrees. It's nice and frothy. And if we put a spoon in, it is starting to coat the back of a spoon like that. So that's what you want. We just have to wait for it to get to 165 degrees so that it cooks the eggs. Okay, we have measured above 165. I measured 167 uh, degrees, so I think we are done. It is a very even consistency. It's quite thick, as you can see. Yeah, I think it's done. We're gonna take it off the heat, or at least this part is done. There's still lots more to be done. Making eggnog is not a simple process. It takes many steps. They're all easy. But it just takes a while. And now I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract, which I don't have a clean teaspoon, so I'm using a half teaspoon. I'm just gonna do four of these. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna stir that in. So now it's seasoned with vanilla and nutmeg, and we are gonna chill this. You're supposed to chill it for three hours, and it's already 7 p.m. So what we're gonna do instead now is cover this and chill it in the freezer for an hour, and then in the refrigerator for another one to two hours. So hopefully it'll be set um, before we go to bed. If not, we can always try it tomorrow. Uh, th there may be a part two, I don't know. Um, but after this chills, then we have to whip the cream and sweetener and vanilla and then fold that into this mixture. So there's more steps ahead. We are pouring the eggnog, or at least this part of the eggnog, into a big glass bowl with a lid and we're gonna put it in the freezer. And I'm just now thinking, I hope it doesn't like crack the glass or something. Hopefully not. We're gonna put it in the freezer for an hour. Wish us, wish us the best. So I just found in my drawer where I keep like my aluminum foil and plastic bags in the very back of the drawer, I found one of these citrus fir candles. I had another one that I got on clearance for 79 cents at Big Lots and these smell so good. So yay, now I have a Christmas candle and I'm glad I didn't buy one. While we're waiting on the eggnog to chill, we are gonna start working on our orange slices, uh, putting twine through them so we can put them on the Christmas tree. So here's our lovely Christmas tree, looking so beautiful, but it's gonna look even better once we get these orange slices on it. Isn't that right, baby? Look at you peeking out from under there, you're so cute. So are you, Morty. <laughs> look at Morty peeking out from behind the uh, pillow, it's so cute. And look who's beside me, it's little ballerina. Little ballerina Marie. Oh, she's precious. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take one of these and I don't know, we might need to poke a hole through some of these somehow to do the twine. So I guess we can use the hooks that we have here or maybe we'll just end up hooking them, I don't know. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this orange slice that already has a hole in it just from being dried and I'm gonna put a piece of twine through it like this. And then I'm gonna tie it here, make a knot, and then I will cut off like this excess and we will hang this on the tree. So Limbs is cutting us off a bunch of pieces of string. So we have those available and I've done two so far, so we haven't made it very far. Um, but he's cutting us off some twine pieces and then we're just gonna be like a little factory here and we're just gonna start <laughs> putting twine on these. Once we get them all done, we'll put them on the tree and I think it's gonna look so pretty. I love the tree this year. I'm so happy to have a full-size tree. It has been years since I've had a full-size tree. Like uh, for the past, I don't know, like 10 years or so, I've always had just a little tiny tree. So I'm really happy with this one. And I think it's really pretty just how it is right now. But the oranges I think are just really gonna 
put it over the top for me. So here are some that we have done already. And we made this nice little display so I could take an Instagram picture. Actually, Lim's did. He has a very good eye for these things and I don't. I was just gonna take a picture of a pile of orange slices and he was like, no, let's make it look nice. <laughs> But we're taking a quick break to make some bacon wrapped jalapeno peppers or at least start them in the air fryer. Love these. This is my vegetable for the day. <laughs> this is gonna be a jalapeno pepper stuffed with cream cheese and wrapped in bacon. We're gonna cook these at 375 degrees for uh, 16 minutes and then we're gonna increase the heat so we can crisp up the bacon. So it's been an hour since we put the uh, eggnog into the freezer. So we're gonna take it out now and see how it's doing. It looks pretty good. I think we're gonna put it in the fridge for a little bit longer and let it continue to chill a little bit, but I think it's just about ready for us to do the whipped cream. So we might do that after we eat the peppers. I'm gonna chill it until then. So we got all the oranges done. Oh my gosh, look at this huge pile of orange slices. Okay, so I'm just gonna start putting them on the tree. We're listening to Christmas music. It's awesome. Oh, these are gonna look so pretty. I don't think we did too many. I think this is gonna be just about the right amount. So here's a first person view of me putting the orange on the tree. And we're just gonna put these all over y'all and I'll show you the end result. We're almost done decorating the tree and we may have overcooked the <laughs> jalapenos a little bit. But I still think they're gonna be fine. They're still gonna be delicious. All right, so we're taking them out now. So what we did is 425 for an additional three minutes. And maybe we should have done 400, I don't know. The only thing that sucks about these is how it leaves behind all this cheese in the air fryer and it's such a pain in the ass to clean up, but man, they are worth it. They are so good. Yay, here they are. A little extra cheese. <laughs> My favorite thing to do is I like to scrape the cheese bits out and eat them even though they're like hot lava. When it starts to burn on the bottom, oh yeah, it's really good to scrape it off the, the grate. <laughs> oh my God, look at this burnt cheese hunk that I got out of the, <laughs> that I got out of the air fryer. Oh my God, that's the good shit right there. You just gotta scrape that up and just eat it directly. So I finished eating all the burnt cheese out of the air fryer. A plus, 10 out of 10 would recommend. And now I'm gonna try and eat one of these hot lava peppers. It only slightly scalded the roof of my mouth, so success! Now I'm gonna eat some more of these before I finish decorating the tree. They are so good. Look how beautiful the tree is! Oh Yay. my god! It's so pretty. I love it. I think this is my favorite tree I've ever had. It's so pretty with the lights and the oranges. Oh my god. The tinsel, like, it's just perfect. You can't really see the pine cones that much but the oranges, the lights, and the garland, not tinsel. It's actually tinsel garland is what it is. Um, it's so beautiful. I love it. So we have a big twine mess on the table. We're gonna have to clean up after this. But these are the cinnamon sticks that I bought. I had no idea that I was only getting seven cinnamon sticks in a package. So we're just gonna be able to make like to three little bundles, three little two stick cross bundles. So we made our first uh, little cinnamon stick bundle out of three that we're going to make. And we're about to make the second one now that we kind of figured out how to tie them together and keep them crossed like this. We also made the poor little single stick into its own ornament. <laughs> So we have three bundles and one single stick to put on the tree now. And I found the perfect branch right here to put it on. There we go. And we'll put one. I'm trying to space them out. Where should I put it? I don't know. Right here, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> we definitely need more of these. I'm gonna buy more cinnamon sticks because these look really good with the origin. Okay, so now the tree is as done as it can possibly be right now until I get some more cinnamon sticks. So maybe that'll be a project for us next weekend. The oranges are definitely done and they look so beautiful. I love it. And so do the cinnamon stick crosses and the pine cones, although you can't really see the pine cones unless you get super close. Well, the eggnog is not quite done. It needs to chill longer. So I think I'm gonna let it chill overnight and then tomorrow I will add the whipped cream and uh, maybe we can get some rum for it tomorrow and make it the right way. So there's gonna have to be a part two to the keto eggnog. <laughs> anyway, that's how you make it. You just chill it. And then afterwards, we're gonna whip up some cream with some uh, sweetener and vanilla, 
fold that in, and then add a shot of rum to each eight ounce glass. So now you have to watch the next vlog if you wanna see how it turns out. Cliffhanger, Christmas cliffhanger. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I'm trying to find some good lighting where I don't look like a skeleton, but I'm not finding it. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.